Now, did Bill leave too soon? Or did he have to? Hey, man, look, I, I remember sitting with Bill at the Village Pub one night having a couple cocktails. He goes, man, why did I leave? And I was like, I don't know why you left. Why are you telling me? You know, I don't know. You know, but I, yeah, I think he left. You know, but the the again, man, the emotion of the of the moment. You know, you had, he had gone through a lot. A lot of stuff was going on with him. A lot of issues were happening in his life at that time. And I think he realized that, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with all this. You know, I've gone back to back, and I'm done with it. Uh, I'm positive that he wished that he had gone for three in a row. I mean, we got very close to getting three in a row, but I think he missed it. And he missed it really bad that year that, that I bet he, I, I'm, he was probably sitting there going, I hope they lose. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I, I think he felt. I think he. I think he had some of that. I mean, look, he's human. I mean, so. I, but I also know that at the time that he made the decision in that locker room, it was, you know, it's like popping the question. You don't know when you're going to pop it, but you do it and you hope that it's right. You know, and I, I think he popped that moment of sport. He it happened to him and. And then the guy who took over was your DB coach, and he wasn't nearly as famous or charismatic or hey man, if legendary, you, and yet he won two rings and took you almost to a third in a row. And by the way, one of the great things that nobody's talking about the Super Bowl right now, what I find fascinating, is that no one is even mentioning his name. It is unbelievable that nobody is mentioning his name. He, and you think about his body of work and what he was able to accomplish, what he had to, I mean, the first year, the first year we loved him, the defense loved him, but he, man, he got the Heisman from a lot of, of the offensive players. A lot of the offensive players did not like George Seifert. <laughs> and so it was, it was an interest, it was a tough year for him, but he did it despite that and then went again, and then took Carolina, right? You know, so unbelievable coach. For me, I had him my rookie year. So I had him my rookie year. He was by far the toughest coach I've ever been around. And the reason why he was tough is that our rookie year, he would keep us after practice for like two hours. We got to a point where we, had to, we were running around Redwood City. I mean, well, you know, guys will look at us like, you know, the rest of the team's like, oh, yo, <laughs> you guys are going on that George run again, huh? So we would go on this George run, and George would run us around Redwood City. It was hilarious, but that was part of his way of disciplining our group, our, our rookies, and myself as a rookie. And, he was a, but he was a phenomenal yeah. coach. He did a wonderful job and, and uh, always indebted to what he was able to teach us. Yeah.